Hello, everybody. My name is Douglas Lauritsen. I want to thank everybody for attending the troubleshooting AutoCAD Map 3D on Citrix ZenApp presentation or video recording. On the agenda today will be the AutoCAD Map 3D install scripts, special license file types for Map 3D and raster design, some information about Citrix ZenApp and Microsoft Windows Server, system requirements and virtual computers, scalability information for concurrent user and large data sets, screen flicker in terminal services, display memory in a Citrix session, Windows roaming profiles, also AutoCAD Map 3D performance configuration recommendations, and documentation and additional resources. The most common problem that users run into is that they did not use the scripts to save the AutoCAD template from the installing user and then apply that to the additional users that are going to be using the application. A couple of error messages that are associated with this are the unable to run AutoCAD. This may be due to one of the following reasons. Also this fatal error here. If the user does come across these error messages, the way to resolve this is to reset their user. You can do so by deleting two folders and a registry entry. The first folder to delete is in their user profile under application data, and then you delete Autodesk. The next one, local settings, application data, and delete the Autodesk folder. Finally, in the registry, they want to delete HKEY, current user, software, Autodesk. When these three resources are deleted, then you can run the apply Autodesk template.bat. It looks for the existence of the user profile, application data, Autodesk folder. If it does not exist, then it uses the template that was created by the administrator to create these three resources. Documentation for the save and apply scripts is available on Chapter 2 of the AutoCAD Map 3D Citrix install guide. These scripts are also available on the Map 3D 2011 disk, on the electronic download, as well as through a technical solution on the Autodesk webpage. Included in these scripts are four files. The apply Autodesk template.batch file applies the three, re three user resources to the user by checking to see that the user's profile contains their application data, then Autodesk folder. If it does not exist, then the batch applies the three resources. The config Autodesk on zenapp.js is the actual script itself. How to use AutoCAD map Citrix script.txt provides some documentation for the scripts. And the save Autodesk template.bat copies the local settings, application data, Autodesk folder, as well as the application data, Autodesk folder out of the administrative users folder into the template folder. It also creates a registry export of HKEY current user software Autodesk. And finally, it creates a temp file with the name of the user who's running the script so that the apply script can then do a find and replace on the registry export to get it applied to the actual user running the apply script. Next, I will demo the use of the save script from the administrator. Here we are logged in as the administrative user who installed Map 3D 2011. On the display in Windows Explorer is the location of the Autodesk template. Included in this folder are the apply Autodesk template.bat, the save Autodesk template.bat, as well as the .js file that includes the scripts, and a txt file with some documentation for the scripting. From the command line, I will run the save Autodesk template.bat file. While it is running, you can see that it creates the files, folders, and Windows registry export files needed for the additional users. We can see that there is the app data folder, the local data folder, the registry export, as well as a text file that has the name of the administrator that ran the export. This username is used to do a find and replace on the user registry export. In the user's temp file is a log file that shows the output and the success or failure of using these scripts. Here we are logged into the user's desktop on the Citrix server. On the display in the Windows Explorer, we can see the content of the Autodesk template. We can see the application data folder, the local settings folder, the registry export, as well as the text file that has the installer user's name that's going to be used to replace the installing user's name with the user that's running the apply script. 
Here in the registry editor, we can see that there is no Autodesk entry. We can also see that there's no Autodesk entry in application data or in local settings. I'm going to run the apply script from the command line, but you could double click on it in Windows Explorer. When you run it on the command line, it returns information to the command line. It also will write information to a log file. Here we can see that it successfully applied the Autodesk template to the current user. We can also see that it created the application data folder, the local settings folder, and in this temp folder, there's the log file with the user's entries. Finally, we can see that the Autodesk entry was created in the registry, and we can see the specific entry for AutoCAD Map 3D and AutoCAD Raster Design. Another co common problem is installing Map 3D as standalone, or so does using a regular network license file. If this is done, you will generally get an error message saying that the third user cannot obtain a license. Using AutoCAD Map 3D or Raster Design in Citrix in App requires a special session specific network license. This network license does not contain the dupe underscore group equals UH text string in the increment. This allows more than two users to use the application. In this sample file, we can see that there are five seats for each AutoCAD Map 3D 2010 and AutoCAD Raster Design 2010. These feature codes are the same that's used with regular network licensing, so you will need to have a separate service for your Citrix licenses. AutoCAD Map 3D and Raster Design are only supported on Citrix ZenApp 4.5 or 5.0. Specifics for Map 3D 2009 are that it was tested on Microsoft Windows Server 2003 R2 as 32-bit, with Citrix Presentation Server, also known as ZenApp 4.5. It is Citrix ready for any 32-bit version of Map Microsoft Windows Server 2003 with Citrix ZenApp 4.5. Specifics for Map 3D and Raster Design 2010 are that they were tested on Microsoft Windows Server 2003 R2, again 32-bit, with Citrix ZenApp 4.5 and 5.0. It is Citrix ready for any 32-bit or 64-bit version of Microsoft Windows Server 2003 with ZenApp 4.5 or 5.0. Specifics for the new release, AutoCAD Map 3D and Raster Design 2011 are that they were tested on Microsoft Windows Server 2003 R2, this time 64-bit, with Citrix ZenApp 5.0. They are Citrix ready for any 32-bit or 64-bit version of Microsoft Windows Server 2003 with the Zen Citrix ZenApp 4.5 or 5.0. What does Citrix ready mean to AutoCAD Map 3D users? AutoCAD Map 3D software completed validation testing with Citrix Presentation Server ZenApp software through the Citrix ready program. The Citrix ready designation identifies products that are compatible with Citrix application delivery environment. Being Citrix ready is different than fully supported. What that means to product support and customers is that product support is providing support for Map 3D or raster design. We are not providing support for Windows Server, terminal services, internet information services, Citrix ZenApp, or presentation server. Product support tests customer service requests on a workstation and in ZenApp. If an issue is unique to the Citrix environment, we report that to Citrix. If the issue happens in both environments, normal product support procedures apply, where we provide a solution, a workaround, or log a change request or business case with development, and then we escalate that as necessary. I have not seen a problem that prevents Map3D from running in this environment. There, are, there is often a workaround or an alternative there are known limitations where known, they are documented in the Map 3D Citrix README, such as the suggestions to disable rollover tooltips, um, selection preview, dynamic input, and those kinds of things. Only Microsoft Windows Server 2003 is supported by Map 3D for the Citrix environment. This includes AutoCAD Map 3D 2009, 2010, 
2011, as well as Raster Design 2010 and 2011. Both of the releases of Microsoft Windows Server 2008 have not been tested and are, and are therefore not supported by Map3D. Citrix and Autodesk do not support Windows Server 2008 Release 2 with ZenApp 4.5 or 5.0. Many problems with Map3D in the Citrix environment come from not meeting system requirements. The system requirements must meet or exceed system requirements for Microsoft Windows, Citrix ZenApp, AutoCAD Map3D, and Raster Design. AutoCAD Map3D is not supported on virtual machines or virtual computers. That goes equally well with the Citrix. I have heard half a dozen or more user reports where they have not had satisfactory user experiences on virtual computers. Again, virtual computers are not supported and we do not recommend that you try it. Is the system configuration appropriate for the expected number of maximum concurrent users and or the data set size? Minimum system requirements will need to be exceeded if you want to accommodate large data sets or large numbers of concurrent users. Key bottlenecks or factors with this are CPU, disk I.O., and memory. You can see more at the Autodesk Map3D 2009 Citrix ZenApp 4.5 Performance Analysis White Paper. Based on results in the AutoCAD Map 3D 2009 Citrix ZenApp 4.5 performance analysis, other analysis, and customer input, product support recommends exceeding the RAM recommendations and the use of the lower range of current concurrent user load per core. We recommend that you have the Enterprise Edition of Windows Server 2003 with the PAE switch enabled. You have fast hard drive access utilizing SCSI or serial attached storage which is implemented with either SCSI or FAST SATA drives. A multi-core CPU and 628 gigabytes of RAM should be the minimum regardless of the number of users and plan for one gigabyte or more for each concurrent user plus additional RAM for the operating system, ZenApp and other processors. Example, to achieve an excellent user experience for four concurrent users, a multi-core processor and 6-8 gigabytes of RAM would be needed. If you are working on large data sets, you may need to exceed the recommended RAM. The table on this slide is compiled from the information that's available in the performance white paper. We recommend that you have the lower range in the users per CPU core and that you exceed the available RAM per user in gigabytes. Does the screen flicker for the users? If so, it could be because of a hotfix that Microsoft has made available for the Windows Presentation Foundation in the Terminal Services environment. You can find more information at either of the websites that are listed here. The Microsoft Knowledge Base is article is 955692. Early on in our involvement with working with Citrix, they recommended that we increase the display memory used for each session. We've not specifically seen this help, but as it was a recommendation that came from Citrix, it seems reasonable that user experience would improve with this increased memory allocation. Technical solution 14669637 has step-by-step -step instructions for this. I will also demonstrate setting this in the Citrix management console. Here we are logged in as the administrator on the Citrix server. From the start menu, I'm going to choose, choose to launch the Citrix Access Management Console. Once in the Citrix Access Management Console, I want to expand the Citrix resource and the presentation server element. Also, I want to right click on the server farm name. In my case, it's PS M3D 2010. Again, you want to right click on the farm name, then choose properties. Then you want to be in the server default element, then the ICA element, and then choose the display element. For the maximum memory, I'm going to set it to 8,000. This is the recommendation that Citrix made to us when we were first interacting with them. You will want to consult with a Citrix expert to determine your setting. You can then click OK, and the settings are saved.
Rowing profiles are not supported by MAP3D. However, many find that it's beneficial in the Citrix farm environment where a user is likely to be directed to one of several servers that have published AutoCAD MAP3D. Using the log, log on and log off scripts to manage the non-roaming files in the user profile may be required to accomplish the use of roaming profiles. We refer to the AutoCAD documentation on system configurations. The config Autodesk on ZenApp.js script can be used as a guideline. Also refer to the technical solution for restricted users, TS1055299. Remember, using profiles is used at your own risk. If you need product support, you'll need to disable roaming profiles and all troubleshooting and solutions will need to be applied without roaming profiles, after which roaming profiles can be carefully re-enabled. Recommended MAP3D configurations for ZenApp include disabling tooltips and rollover tooltips as they significantly impact performance. You may wish to experiment with the settings on these and enable only those that are necessary and useful in the commands uh, in this environment. Also, dynamic input should be disabled. Oftentimes, the MAP3D functions are older than the dynamic input functionality, so you're only seeing the command returning its options and parameters to the command line anyway. So you may want to choose control nine to enable the command line. And like I said, disable dynamic input. Finally, selection preview also has a significant impact on performance. You'll want to disable those. At a very minimum, if you have the system resources to cover it, you may want to have it so that it is turned on when no command is active. And then I will do another demonstration of the AutoCAD MAP3D configuration based on those recommendations. Here we are logged in as the installing administrative user. I'm going to launch AutoCAD MAP3D from the start menu and then make the recommended configuration settings. If the command line is not displayed, I will press Control 9 on the keyboard, then disable dynamic input from the status bar. Then I can right click the command line and choose Options to get into the AutoCAD Map 3D options. On the Display tab, I will disable tooltips. You should do so to as low of the amount that's required for the user to accommodate their work. On the Selection tab, I will turn off Selection Preview for when no command is active. You may wish to leave Selection Preview for when a command is active, but we recommend you turn that off as well. You can then click OK to save the settings. You cannot uninstall AutoCAD 2011 on a Windows Server operating system. In order to uninstall, reinstall, or repair AutoCAD MAP3D 2011 in the Citrix ZenAmp environment, you will need to manually remove folders as well as registry entries. The list is quite extensive. You may miss it from this slide, so we've provided it as a technical solution. TS14. 8, 9, 8. Some documentation and web links that are available on the web are the MAP3D Citrix post install scripts available at TS14669228. There's also the Autodesk MAP3D product webpage for Citrix. There's the AutoCAD MAP3D 2009 Citrix ZenApp 4.5 performance analysis and Citrix has their Autodesk Citrix best practices webpage. Documentation is also available on the media or through the elect electronic download. That documentation includes the MAP3D Citrix install guide, the MAP3D Citrix README, the MAP3D Citrix license addendum, and the MAP3D 2011 uninstall guide. Many of these are also included as handouts for this presentation. Also included in the handouts is the performance analysis. This concludes the presentation for troubleshooting AutoCAD MAP3D in the Citrix Synapse environment.